Hey there, it's Vince, and this battery needs some new cables. Stuff you'll need. Safety glasses. Gloves. Acid-resistant sleeves. New cables. Lead sticks. Wet rag. Dremel with metal cutting bit. Air hose. Oxyacetylene torch. Two, two watt cable tips. Some tip crimpers. Electrical tape. Battery connector. Some cable cutters. A propane or map gas torch. And some heat shrink tubing. Start by cleaning up the posts for the new cables. Blow off the battery. On Intersys batteries, place the black plastic washers around your posts. Clean up your cable lead heads. Position your new cables so that they lay naturally on your battery. Move the lead head away from the vent cap. Remove the vent caps surrounding the cable posts. Spray out the cells with compressed air. Light your oxyacetylene torch. Flame the cells, ensuring the removal of all hydrogen and begin welding. Bring the red cable over to mate up with the black cable, positioning it so that the bend lines up with the second cell, like this. Use your cable cutters to cut the cables to the same length, about halfway down the side of the battery. Strip off the shielding to expose enough copper strands to fill up the cable tips. Put your cables next to each other. Do not touch the copper together. Make sure the black cable is on the same side as the negative on the connector and the red is on the positive side. This next part can be a little tricky. Grab your connector and a tip. Notice the metal spring clips in the connector. If you look at your tip, you'll notice a ledge on one side. That ledge is what catches onto the spring clips in the connector. Make sure the ledge is facing away from you. Slide the copper strands into the cable tip. With the ledge of the tip facing away from you, put an alignment mark on your cable and tip. Repeat the process for the red cable. Next, align your marks and slide the tip back into your cable. Adjust your crimpers to the appropriate starting size. Should be kind of big. Now, crimp your tip four times, starting on the end of your tip closest to the cable shielding. Adjust your crimpers to the next smaller position. Repeat the four crimp process in the same spots you crimped before. You may notice your crimpers left a fold line on one side of your tip. Rotate your tip and crimp the same four spots as before. Adjust your crimpers one more time to the next smaller position. Repeat the same four-step crimping process, remembering to rotate the tip and crimp again. Do the same crimping process to the remaining cable. Make sure you keep your marks lined up.
When you're finished, your tips should look like this. Next, tape the shielding, attaching it to the tip. This will prevent the shielding from pulling back and exposing the copper. Tape the remaining cable the same way. Grab your two pieces of heat shrink tubing. Put the heat shrink on your tip so that it covers your tape. Use your torch and shrink the tubing over your tip. You can also use a heat gun if you don't want to use a torch. Now grab your connector and slide your tips into the appropriate slots of your connector. Remember, red is positive, black is negative. Last but not least, tape your cables together. Start about an inch or so away from your connector. Straighten your cables up and tape them together near where they first joined together. Finally, find the middle and tape there. 